You guys, Stephen Florida here. I'm at uh, St. Pete, Florida. I'm at the uh, historic Indian Mounds um, here in the uh, Bogusiega area. And I'm here where um, you see the sign in front of me where it says, uh, here landed Panafilo D. Narvaez. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Landed here on April 15th of 1528. The site of this ancient Indian village was launched. The first exploration by white man of the North American continent. Um, there's two Indian mounds. Um, it actually says it's one Indian mound, but it appears to be two. And uh, they date back to 1000 AD. Uh, it was were built by the Tokabaga Indians. And uh, it's unclear if any of these mounds actually hold any uh, Indian remains. Uh, some other mounds do, burial, you know, burial mounds. Um, but there, are, as you walk around, it's you see the normal things you would see at most Indian mounds, uh, which are the shells that came up from, um, like conch shells, things like that, where they would, you know, cook them and eat them, discard. They've also pulled a lot of pottery and things out of these mounds. There is a museum on site here that you can go in and look at all of that stuff. We're going to go try to check that out in a few minutes. So I'm on top of one of the mounds here right now. And I apologize if you hear traffic behind me. I have no way to filter that out. Unfortunately, this these mounds are right next to a very busy road. As you can see... Some of the bigger shells here. So I'll walk down the side of this mound. Now this might have been one Indian, one mound that maybe over time kind of split into making it look like it's two. But it looks like it's two to me. So then we're gonna go up the side of this other one here. Um, like I said, this is also on. It's also on Bocasiega Bay, um, where. And obviously it wasn't caused, called Bogusiega Bay back then, but uh, it's um, where the Spanish explorer landed here. So I'm going to take a walk down there and show you that spot. See, the mound itself is probably 25 to 30 feet high. And uh, 25 to 30 yards wide, if not a little wider than that. So, we'll have, uh, so let's, let's take a walk down to um, the water. Let me give you a point of view of uh, when the Spanish explorer came in and landed. So let's go check it out. So this is Bocasiega Bay. Behind me is the Indian Mound. So this most likely, this gentle vicinity here, maybe within a few yards, would have been the uh, landing site for the Spanish explorer. Obviously everything you see out there in the way distance was not there. So pretty neat find though here, right in the middle of the hustle and bustling city. So if you're in St. Pete, look up uh, the different Indian mounds that you can visit in St. Pete and Pinellas County for that matter, also Tampa. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> 